welcome to uh, a couple more Shop Goodwill auction wins. So I got, uh, well, it looks like, uh, wow, I'm a little upset because it is um, not disclosed. I won two more auctions. One is, uh, this one was a Shop Goodwill auction, and it was not disclosed that this was a broken bracelet. Uh, this was an Amadeo bracelet, and it was not disclosed that there was a missing cameo, and I'm a little ticked off about that. So that's kind of making me a little angry. Um, wow, that really pisses me off. This is gorgeous though, otherwise. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do. Maybe I can find like a cabochon or something like that I can put in there. Um, but that really makes me mad that that is, that that is not in there. It was not disclosed. Maybe I just didn't notice it in the pictures or something. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, that's too bad. But this is another Amadeo bracelet. I'm super into Amadeo uh, cameo pieces. Uh, this is an Amadeo bracelet. And uh, Amadeo is a cameo, more modern cameo maker out of New York. Um, and they make beautiful pieces. And these are all... Um, I think these are glass, maybe. Maybe these are resin cameos. And um, this is a really cool little bangle bracelet. And this would be one of the ones that would have come from the QVC line because it is marked Amadeo China. And uh, But this one's super cool, but that's really too bad that that one's missing. We'll have to see what we can do to kind of fix it or something. But that really makes me upset. I didn't notice it or I just didn't, wasn't paying attention or something. Huh, that really makes me mad. I'm so sad. Dang it, because that is such a cool bangle. Shoot, well, oh well, that's okay. Um, and then we have another, uh, this one is a glass cameo, hematite glass cameo, and that one's super pretty. And then we have this little cameo here. This is resin and uh, not the best. It's got some glue marks on the back, but that's okay. Um, also really pretty. I like the, I like her face in that one. So that is um, one, one auction win that we got from a Goodwill in Kentucky. Um, the next is a uh, kind of a larger shop Goodwill auction win. And um, I'm not going to be on the cam uh, camera today at all because I am getting over a bug. I don't really know. I've been kind of like not feeling great for the last few days, um, which has been good. I've been getting a lot of work done. Um, so one of the big things I guess about being not feeling great is like you get a lot of work done sometimes if you're in that like weird in-between phase where you don't feel good but you feel good enough to like work I guess um let's see this was from Goodwill in where was it Kentucky this one's the one in Kentucky no this is the one in Indianapolis the other one was Kentucky so this is from Goodwill in Kentucky and this is uh, store 49, 25 pieces. Um, it has 25 pieces of fashion jewelry with Christian Dior, Disney, Banana Republic, Leo Sophia, Napier. Um, some could have loose or missing stones. Uh, no Mark, Howard, Stella Dar Dot. Ann Klein and Irwin Pearl. So there's some good pieces in here. Um, so I paid $60, I think, for this whole set or this whole lot. So let's see what we can, what we get in this. Um, okay, we've got, this is a pair of Howard's earrings. These are pretty with marcasites, like those. Nickel free, a little more modern. And then these are just a gold tone 
pair of kind of like shoulder duster earrings here. Those are very, very pretty. I like those. And then we have, these are, well, here we go. Here are the Christian Dior, these are Christian Dior cufflinks. So, you know, I don't do a lot of cufflinks, but I know that they can sell very well. And those are very pretty, kind of like a very 80s, almost uh, like gold nugget style cufflink. Um, probably an eBay item, I would imagine. We'll have to see how we do with those. But if anybody knows of uh, somebody that might like a um, cufflink or something like that, that would be kind of a, kind of a neat piece. So let's just see what those will be like. Um, let's see what else we got in here. This is a pretty, it's a pretty little silver ring. Any marks on this? Let's see. This ring is... I don't see any, oh, maybe. I think this is this ring is Leah Sophia. This is a Leah Sophia ring. I don't know if Leah Sophia is sterling or not. I will have to do a little bit more research and look for more uh, marks in a minute. These are cool. Oh, I really like these earrings a lot. So that's um like a mother of pearl or abalone maybe. And then it's got the gold overlay. Those are really sweet. I really like those. Those are pretty sweet earrings. And then these are a cool earring right here. So that's another cool earring. I'm not sure maker on that at all, but that is another cool earring. They're a little on the heavier side, but I like those a lot. Very pretty. Those are beautiful. Really pretty. And then these are also very beautiful. Really nice crystal earrings. Uh, don't see any marks, but we'll have to maybe look at those closer in a bit. And those are very pretty. Not sure if these are any type of stone. Let's see here. Don't register on the Presidium at all. That is very pretty. And uh, almost looks like amethyst maybe. Not sure of these. Can test it. Let's see. Yeah, those are amethyst. So um, I would maybe think that those might be sterling in the center there, but those are amethyst. So really pretty. So, huh, cool. And then those are neat little, just simple earrings. Uh, any marks on these? And then those are just simple, pretty little earrings too. So that's not bad for our first little bag. 
Got some amethyst earrings in there. Let's see what we got for this next bag here. Got one single necklace in this bag, and that is this here. And uh, they have these little pearls and these little crystal pieces. And let's see if we have any markings on this at all. This is not marked at all, but it's a really pretty necklace. Very, very pretty necklace. Hmm. Very interesting. This next piece is also really pretty. So this is really pretty. It is it's a longer necklace. Not sure the maker on this but it's got um, a longer longer chain on here and double strand in the center uh, the smaller strand in the center is more delicate and it's got like a little dangle with two kind of hematite looking crystals and then this main piece here has a little medallion. The angel just got all upset over nothing over there. <clears throat> so yeah, this is this is really interesting. I'm not really sure. This is unsigned also, but really pretty. A little bit on the longer side, but it does have um, an extender. So really pretty little necklace that one is. Um. And we have a cute little Tinkerbell uh, necklace. So nice little Disney Tinkerbell necklace. So any Disney fans there? Let's see. And then we'll have, let's see what's next. Another bag of, lots of bags here. This is a kind of a resin plastic bead, very 80s. Um, kind of like these kind of swirly resin lucite type beads um, in the focal center part. And this is very summer colors. Really like this. So very pretty piece there. Um, this is, is this, is this the Banana Republic or is this, it almost looks like J. Crew. Oh, this is Stella and Dot. This is really pretty. So this is a Stella and Dot necklace. 
really, I like this. This is very, um, very almost reminds me of like a J. Crew piece. I wonder who make who makes their pieces. Really pretty. Love this. Love the colors. Gorgeous. Really fun little necklace. And then here, what is this? Now we have, this is a very blingy piece and not sure who makes this, but love this. This is the centerpiece. It is, it goes down into a focal point fringe. And this is the, is it triple, quadruple, yeah, five, five strands. And yeah. And just kind of blings out down there. That's really, really pretty. I like that. That's really nice. What is this? And this. Oh, here is the Banana Republic necklace. This is a great little layering piece. So this, I have to get the neck out. So this is long and this will layer and long crystals, really beautiful. Banana Republic, it's just a single long crystal Necklace, really nice. Wow, that's really pretty. And then we have a long, ooh, okay. Uh, oh, this is an Anne Klein, vintage Anne Klein necklace. And we've got the, here is the, here's the lion head. It's in a big toggle. And there is that. That's really nice. And what is this? Okay, and then this is the Irwin Pearl, and it is just a chain, and this is really lovely. Um, let me t put it together. And look at that. And there is the Irwin Pearl. Wow, that is really, really nice. Really, really nice. Just a nice chain. Wow, I like that. I will get the neck out and then we'll look at all of these on the neck. And let's see what we got in this last bag here. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. Check that out. That is a cool, cool bib. Look at that. Love that. That is like a modern twist on a rhinestone necklace. It's like uh, industrial meets, I guess, uh, vintage I don't even know like that is like it's like um that that's just that's just freaking cool I love that holy cow I love that more than you know what do we got now this is a oh this is adorable oh my god it's a tinker bell charm bracelet Disney tinker bell charm bracelet. Where are all my Disney people at? Oh my goodness. That is absolutely precious and adorable. And we got a couple more pieces here. 
This is a little bracelet and what, who makes this? Don't see a maker on this. This is, this has little magnets in it. So this is a two-tone bracelet and the gold and the silver you can see that and then if you turn it on its reverse those are all little magnets so there's like magnetic properties in this so it would be like for pain or healing or whatever this is really pretty love 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 that normally these have little like names or something I would think I mean anytime I've seen these little bracelets with the magnets in it they've usually had who makes them it's missing an e-magnet right there wow that's super cute um and we have a couple more bracelets like I need any more bracelets after all the bracelets that came earlier this week weekend that's a really cool one though. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And this one's pretty heavy duty. That's a really nice one. No marks on this. So I don't know who makes that, but very cool. This one is another really nice one. A little clamper style. No marks on that one either. And last but not least, this is a gold chain. Uh, not super heavy, so. Oh, we have a mark. Napier. This is a Napier chain. I love the two, like the brush gold and the regular gold. Love that. And this is Napier. That's really beautiful. So I think we did I think we did really good with this. Um I spent 60 on this lot and I think um I I don't definitely don't think that's going to be a problem making my money back on this one at all. Um really excited about this. Very bummed about that, but you know, oh well. Um it is what it is. It's still beautiful. Um and I might be able to find something to go in there some kind of cabochon or something. Uh, but yeah, I'm super, super duper excited about some of these pieces in here. I'm really loving the Tinkerbells. So if you know any Tinkerbell lovers, let me know. Uh, but yeah, all of this is going to be for sale. So please let me know if you are interested in any of these pieces. Just email me at leslie at Black Dog Vintage MI or text me at 248-453-9153. All right. Thank you, you guys. I appreciate you popping in for my newest video. And uh, don't forget, my uh, live sales are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. And then the occasional pop-up shows any other day on the week. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Bye. I almost forgot I was going to put all these on a neck. And so before I forget, here we go. This is that really cool um, kind of industrial crystal swag necklace that's got the it's like chains and crystals and all that i just think this is just super cool um so that is this particular piece and uh that is on this neck and here is this is the one that was a little bit more towards the beginning and um this is that double necklace it is pretty long I'm going to kind of lift it up here. Um, double, I don't have a measurement on it, but it is pretty darn cool. And definitely, um, it is longer. And this is on its longest or shortest, um, the shortest part of the extender. So I definitely would have to be on the right, I guess, the look for it. But it is really pretty. Um, I do like this, but it is a little bit on the longer side. The next piece uh, is this one from the beginning. This is that really kind of delicate silver with the pearls and the little pave 
crystal beads. This is really pretty. I really like this particular one. And that is very, very gorgeous, very delicate. It could dress up, could dress down. Really like that one. Um, this is, is this the Irwin Pearl? Yeah, this is the Irwin Pearl necklace. Uh, yeah, I love this. Um, and you could definitely wear this shorter, just link it on a shorter, you know, you could put it on any one of these. You could probably even uh, wear this in the front. It'd be kind of fun and just kind of put this into a... Look at maybe on here and wear it like that. That would be kind of fun. And wear it as like a Y necklace. That'd be kind of cool. So that is another cool necklace. I love Irwin, Irwin Pearls really making a big comeback right now. Um, this is that kind of a funky uh, long blingy necklace. I really like this. Um, it is, it's very lightweight. Um, so I wouldn't say that this is maybe like the best quality in terms of um, pieces, but these are more of like a plastic bead, but it's very blingy and it's very much a statement necklace. Uh, I love, I just, I love this piece. I really do. You could definitely dress up with that piece and it's just awesome. It's gorgeous. And this is that incline. Again, I would almost wear this piece in the front, the toggle in the front. It's gorgeous. So absolutely gorgeous. Love the incline. Super cool. This is the Napier. And uh, love the really heavy chain of the Napier with the matte or the brush gold and the, uh, the, the shiny gold. Super gorgeous piece. Super, super gorgeous piece. Love that too. This is the Banana Republic. It's such a pretty layering piece. Um, it's really long, so I'm just going to double it so you can kind of see it. But it's um, just such a pretty, pretty, pretty piece. And that's just a silver chain with a like a rock crystal. And that's Banana Republic. Really beautiful piece. And then this is the uh, Stella and Dot. And uh, that is a really, really pretty piece. And that's just a really fun, a fun necklace. And so those are all the pieces uh, up on the neck. And you gotta love those. Lots of fun earrings too. And don't forget the Christian Dior cufflinks. Um, and so lots of great, lots of great pieces in this one. I think I did pretty good in that, that buy. So pretty excited. Uh, so please let me know if anybody is interested. Oh, and yeah, this, uh, this one last piece is the, um, the kind of 1980s resin necklace from, uh, like with the kind of like the glowy kind of pieces. I really like that actually. That's kind of a fun little piece. The glowy pearls and the little swirly resin beads. Really like these. So uh, yeah, if anybody's interested in any of these, don't hesitate to reach out. I appreciate, appreciate you guys watching with me today. Uh, I have some really amazing pieces. Uh, that I've got final bids on today. So cross your fingers for me. Hopefully I will win some auctions tonight and uh, we'll have some good uh, good wins that I can bring to you guys to uh, for some good videos later on this week. So, all right, thank you guys. And I appreciate you guys watching. Don't hesitate to reach out if you're interested in any of these pieces. Thank you, bye.